Welcome to English Digest, everybody. My name is Tom. Hi, I'm Stephanie. It's our all English lecture today. Our Chinese teacher has the day off, a much needed break, and so today we're going to be speaking totally in English. And the、uh, subject for today is the wild and wonderful state fairs of the U.S. Okay, so of course in the United States. Uh, I believe every state has a state fair that takes place sometime during the summer.、Uh, people show off their agricultural products, their pigs, their cows, and stuff like that,、uh, which is fine. But there are other activities too. There are rides. You can get lots of things to eat. There's live music, all sorts of stuff. Yeah, I'm from a state where there would never be a state fair in the summer, and that's Arizona, which is really hot in the summer. But I have been to a state fair before. It was in Uh, the fall when it's cooling down a little bit more, it's like November for us.、Uh, we could never have a state fair in the summer. You are lucky, Tom, because it's not quite as hot where you grew up. Although it can be humid,、um, but they're fun to go to. I remember the rides in particular, and also the food. I was telling Tom before we started that I remember deep fried Twinkies.、Uh, Twinkie is kind of a snack food that's filled with really sweet. Cream and a spongy cake on the outside, and then they would deep fry it, which would make it even more decadent and、uh, very, very bad for you, actually.、Uh, but the food's fun.、Uh, corn dogs come to mind.、Yep. Uh, uh, chili dogs, stuff like that. Oh, yum!、Uh, and plus, probably tacos and、uh, burritos, Mexican food as well.、Uh, I would say probably at least ninety-five percent of the food for sale at a state fair is fattening and bad for <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, totally.、Uh, so if you're On a diet, maybe you should try to avoid that place. But、yeah. uh, there are all sorts of other things、uh, that we can experience when we go to、Fine. a state fair. So let's find out all about this. Let's read through the entire contents of our lesson right now. Take a whirl on classic carnival rides, peruse prize-winning pets, and fill your belly with fried foods. You can do all this and more at an American state fair. These fun-filled events can be seen all over the U.S. during the hot summer months, bringing excitement wherever they show up. Though they now encompass a lot more, these fairs started out as agricultural shows where farmers could parade their prized livestock. The Great New York State Fair, the first official fair in the U.S., was held in Syracuse, New York, in 1841. These fairs have only been getting bigger and better ever since. There's something for everyone to enjoy at a state fair. Wander down the midway and try your hand at some carnival games like skee ball or mechanical horse races. If you're more of a thrill seeker, the carnival rides will be right up your alley. Drop towers, pendulum rides, and bumper cars will have you shouting for joy. After that. Indulge in some of the famous fair food: cotton candy, giant hot dogs, and all kinds of deep-fried morsels will leave you feeling full. State fairs still retain plenty of their agricultural roots, and you can see this aspect in many of their competitions. Local farmers submit not only their best animals for prizes, but also products like cheese, jam, and honey. The creative arts, such as painting and quilting, Are often celebrated with contests and exhibitions as well. Finally, don't miss the concerts that run throughout each fair, which can feature some of the biggest names in American music. Whether you spend your time on the midway or at the competitions, one thing's for sure: you'll never be bored at an American state fair. Okay, guys, we're going to be discussing state fairs in the U.S. Uh, as Tom was reading, I was thinking about world fairs that、uh, are also pretty popular. I've been to one of those in my lifetime, but it actually brings in people from all over the world. These state fairs can be really fun. Sadly, I've only attended one myself when I was a young kid, probably maybe about twelve or thirteen years old. But as I was listening to Tom Reed. Wow, brought back lots of fun memories. One of the things that I really loved about the state fair 
was not just the the naughty food, which is terrible for you, but the ride. So let's take a look at the first paragraph. Kind of sets the scene for us. Kind of paints a picture in your mind. You're going to take a whirl on classic carnival rides. Yeah, not everybody gets a chance to go to a Disneyland or a Knott's Berry Farm. That's also an amusement park in California. Of course, we also have Six Flags, which is、uh, another amusement park that's pretty popular in the states. Like a chain of、uh, amusement parks, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're opened in different places, different cities. Of course, everyone's heard of Disneyland because it's actually all over the world now. But、uh, if you weren't lucky enough to get a chance to go to a Disneyland or a, another amusement park that's kind of big, you looked forward to these state fairs because they had a lot of carnival rides. If you take a whirl. Just means you're kind of twirling around or moving around. A whirl. If someone whirls you around, that's a verb. They would kind of help you go around and around in a circle. Take a whirl. So you're going to take a whirl, and here it's a noun. Take a quick ride on a classic carnival ride. A carnival is another. Word, I think that we can substitute for a fair. Oh, the the carnival is here. Carnival means it's never in one specific location or set up permanently. It would travel from city to city, and、uh, can be lots of fun, especially for kids because they have those rides you can go on. A ride would be like a roller coaster or bumper cars. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Things like that. It can be lots of fun. Ah,、uh, yes, the、uh, flying. Chairs, the scrambler, the tilt a whirl—those are all common <laughs> carnival rides that go around and around and make you want to throw up. Indeed, and、uh, yes, at the Iowa State Fair that I went to a couple of years ago,、mm. boy, I, I went on one of those things, and that was the most. Uh, A、scary ride I've ever been on、wow. in my life. So they had quite a few choices there. So take a whirl on those rides. <laughs> of course, they've got rides at the amusement parks here in Taiwan at the theme park there. But yes, you can ride on those rides. You can peruse prize-winning pets.、Uh, to peruse means to look over something.、Uh, yes, at the Iowa State Fair, I was able to look at all sorts of different kinds of cows that I had never seen before. I had no idea there were so many different species of cows、yeah. and of pigs. Pigs as well, and sheep, other farm animals, <laughs> and then of course, if you get hungry, you can fill your belly with fried foods. That would mean deep fried foods, generally、mm. speaking. Stephanie mentioned some of those earlier, and like I said, they're probably all going to be very fattening for you. <laughs> But、uh, hey, it's the summertime. What the heck? Let yourself go. You can do all this and more at an American State Fair. So of course,、uh, in my home state of Iowa, I would like to go. I've only been there once, though. But I guess the granddaddy of them all, at least in the Midwest, is the Minnesota State Fair. So if you're there when it's going on, that's surely to be a really wonderful experience. Oh, they can be lots and lots of fun. You want to plan to spend the whole day there, you know. And by the time you get home, you've gone on so many rides and eaten so much junk. You're kind of sick, but it's a lot of fun. So these are fun-filled events. So there's a lot of fun in these events, and they can be seen all over the U.S. during the hot summer months. Typically, that's true. You got to get out there and、uh, enjoy the hot summer. Sweat a bit, but they are fun, and they bring excitement wherever they show up. Like I said earlier, these are usually traveling groups of carnival rides, and people will set up for a certain amount of time, and then they disappear. They're gone again. So if you see a carnival or you see a poster that's advertising a fair, you better get there quick before they're gone. Yes, indeed, and here it goes on to say, though they now encompass a lot more, these fairs started out as agricultural shows, where farmers could parade their prized livestock. So yes, indeed, they originally were agricultural、mm. shows. Uh, that's what they were when they first started. If you were interested in horticulture or farming, you would go there to check out the、uh, animals. Maybe they would、uh, introduce some plants, different kinds of corn or、right. soybeans or whatever, wheat, etc. So they were 
agricultural shows,、mm -hmm. but now they encompass a lot more. So here we've got the verb to encompass. That means they just include all these things. They not only have the farm shows and the rodeo aspect、uh, and the、uh, pig contests and things like that, but also they include, as we mentioned, the food, the rides, the shows, etc., etc. And of course, they could parade their prized livestock. Parade means to generally walk through a large group of people because you're showing something off, like a parade. Uh, before a football game or something like that, you'll have floats and marching bands and stuff. But here, parade is being used as a verb. They just kind of show off their livestock. Livestock means farm animals, generally cows, pigs, sheep, etc. So they do encompass quite a bit. I think a big part of it, as Tom was saying, was this competitive part, where people bring their prized farm animals and they get judged against other. Animals from different farms, and it's fun to win if you're into that sort of thing. If you're studying agriculture in school, it can be even more fun. So they are quite amusing, and if you get the chance to go, you got to go because it's part of American culture. Now, the Great New York State Fair was the first official fair in the U.S., and it was held in Syracuse, New York, in 1841. A lot of the fairs did start up in the 19th century, which means the 1800s. I know in my state, our first state fair was in 1884, and it's still going on. And some states actually have a couple of different state fairs. We also have a Navajo Indian fair, which is up in sort of northern Arizona, where the Navajo Tribe actually sets up their own fair, so you might want to check in to whatever state you're living in at the moment and see if they have、uh, different fairs, and maybe one will be nearer to your location. So you have a lot of choices sometimes in America for these fairs. Yep, and、uh, these fairs have only been getting bigger and better ever since. Yes, they're quite、yeah. special. There's something to check out.、Uh, I have only been to one state fair myself. That's because I grew up in a town that was quite far away from、mm -hmm. where the fair is held、sure. in Des Moines. But、uh, we had county fairs where I'm from, but、oh, they're、fun. much smaller. Okay, they have、uh, fewer rides and fewer activities.、Sure. They're still fun, but they're nowhere near as exciting as a state fair. Okay, let's、uh, move on now to the next paragraph. Here it says, "There's something for everyone to enjoy at a state fair." So this paragraph here kind of tells us what is available at a state fair. Wander down the midway and try your hand at some carnival games like skee ball or mechanical horse races. So yes, wander just means kind of walk freely, and you're not really going any place. You're just kind of checking things out. So wander down the midway. Midway here is a noun. It's a special word to describe these carnivals or state fairs. It refers to the area in the middle of the fair where pretty much all the action is taking place. You've got all. The rides there. You've got all the bright lights, all the noise, all the excitement, and stuff like that.、Uh, the Iowa State Fair is actually quite large, so I don't remember there being a midway because it basically is spread out over a very large area. There's something going on everywhere, and some of these things would include games that you might see, like in the night markets here in Taiwan, where you throw darts at balloons or something like that. They'll probably have games like that at a state fair.、Uh, one game they have there is skee ball, which I've seen at Tom's World here in Taiwan. You just roll these balls, and they kind of fall into holes in a target or something.、Mm. And then you get tickets that you can exchange for prizes. That's ski ball. And then you've got mechanical horse races, where you sit on an actual mechanical horse. Mechanical means it's a machine, basically. And I'm not sure quite how that works. They might be those、uh, mechanical bulls that try to throw you off them or something, and you can try to stay on them for. As long as you can, or they simply actually move as you kick it on the side or something to make it to move, and then you might win the race or something. It's not a real horse; it's a mechanical or machine horse.、Mm. But if you're more of a thrill seeker, the carnival rides will be right up your alley. And then we've got a list of those types of、uh, kind of scary rides. I would call them drop towers. No way. Pendulum rides. Forget it. And bumper cars. 
I adore bumper cars. So if you're a thrill seeker, you're looking for something that gets your heart racing. It's a little dangerous, perhaps, or at least it feels that way. My dad loved those kinds of rides, and none of his kids, except for my oldest brother, would go with him. They made me sick. You know, the ones that go around and around or drop you from really high altitudes, and you drop down. He loved that stuff, but.、Uh, I couldn't. I couldn't take it. But a lot of people really enjoy that. If you use this phrase to be right up someone's alley, it just means it's something that really you're good at, or you're interested in, or it's something that you really like to do.、Um, I would say, I don't know, some of that carnival food、um, is right up my alley in terms of things I like to eat. I know it's terrible to confess that, but it's true. I love fried food. It can、um, be quite tasty、oh, indeed.、Yeah. And、uh, you know, I think it's time for us to take a little bit of a break here. We'll talk about some of these rides in just a couple of seconds. But、uh, hey, let's take a break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay, let's continue with our lesson. Of course, we talked about some of the attractions that are available at a state fair in the U.S. You can go to the Midway and play some games there, and you can go on the rides like drop towers, which drop you from a high elevation to a lower elevation pretty quickly. <laughs> pendulum rides like a pendulum going back and forth, and the bumper cars. Of course, along with the usual kiddie rides like the merry-go-round and the little roller coasters and. Stuff like that. The teacups. Yes, indeed, the teacups. And after that, indulge in some of the famous fair food, which we've been talking about. Indulge in that food. Enjoy it, especially if you're not really supposed to be eating that stuff.、Uh, here are some examples: cotton candy, which of course you have here in Taiwan. Hot dogs that are really big. That would be a giant hot dog.、Mm-hmm. And then all kinds of deep fried morsels. All those things will leave you feeling full.、Uh, morsel here generally refers to a piece of food. Our author here is just using that word to refer to food. Deep fried food. Different kinds of deep fried food. As you mentioned earlier in the program, there. What are there? Deep fried Twinkies or something like that. Deep fried Snicker candy bars too. I just heard of those from you, yeah. But、uh, yes, indeed, these are all quite fattening. So I would probably、mm. try to stay away from most of them. But well, you know, you don't go there every day, so enjoy yourself. Personally, I like the root beer.、Uh, some people like root beer. Some people hate it. I love root beer. Me too, especially、mm. the diet kind,、uh, so you don't get fat. Although they probably use、Ugh. some other kind of sweetener, so、uh, watch out for that. Okay, let's move on now to the next paragraph.、Mm-hmm. It says state fairs still retain. They still keep plenty of their agricultural roots, and you can see this aspect in many of their competitions. So even though nowadays these fairs include carnival games and rides and deep-fried food, they still have the agricultural aspect. Aspect here is just a certain part of something. Usually, it's a kind of a point of view, but in this particular case, it's a feature of something. So yes, indeed, you can. Still check out the pig competitions, the sheep shearing competitions. They still have those, and they're still worth checking out. You can learn a thing or two about the food that you actually eat and how it gets on your plate. Now, the local farmers will submit not only their best animals for prizes. But also products that they make, like cheese, homemade cheese, a jam, and honey. Now, if you submit here, it just means you're presenting something. Perhaps you're trying to enter a competition, or maybe you're submitting something、uh, for someone's approval. Maybe you submit a plan to your boss to get their feedback and their approval on something. Here, they submit not only their best animals, but also products. Here's that.、Uh, Phrase that everyone in Taiwan loves to use.、Uh-oh. Not only, but also. So、uh, you can see that I love buying the freshly made homemade products at these fairs or at a farmers market. Most of the folks we're talking to, Tom, have been to a farmers market. We have farmers markets here in Taiwan now, and so when you buy stuff that has been homemade just recently, it tastes extra good. 
probably because they don't、uh, fill it up with preservatives,、yeah. so it's quite fresh. And then the creative arts are represented there. The creative arts, such as painting and quilting,、cool. are often celebrated with contests and exhibitions as well. Quilting is something that、uh, farmers' wives do a lot. I guess I've done it. I've done it.、Uh, yeah, I'm not quite <laughs> sure exactly what it is. I don't. My mother doesn't do it. I think my sister does. Oh, it's even nice. Though, even though she's not a farm wife. Well, everybody knows what a quilt is. It's one of our Q U words in Taiwan when we're learning pronunciation. You take two pieces of fabric, and then in the middle you put stuffing, very soft, like cotton balls, things like that. And then you sew those two pieces together into a design, and it looks quite beautiful. That's quilting.、Um, but they do have contests for these things too, not just for the animals and who has the biggest, fattest pig or the most beautiful cow. No, they have contests where you can submit some of your arts and crafts. I would say that these things are painting, quilting, and you have exhibitions there as well. An exhibition is when people take things and show them off、um, in a nice display to others. Uh, maybe it's a work of art, or maybe you're going to a gallery and there's a, a certain exhibition for a painter. That's what an exhibition is, and an exhibit. Um, is actually the product or thing that you're looking at, perhaps looking at in order to buy. Right, and of course, lots of things are on display too. I should mention the example of the Iowa State Fair. There's a big butter cow on display,、uh, a life-size model of a cow made completely out of butter. Are you kidding?、Uh, no, check it out. It's quite have, a famous attraction. Although they, I missed it last time. Do they have to keep、uh, cold air on it so it doesn't melt? I would melt? imagine, yeah, because butter melts in、uh, warm temperatures, so <laughs> it's probably refrigerated. Wow! But that is an attraction that you could catch. Wait. I have one more question.、Yes. Mm. Is the cow life size? Life size, indeed. Are you kidding? It's as big as a real cow,、wow. indeed. It's quite an attraction. <laughs> But in any case, you could also go to the concerts. So don't miss the concerts that run throughout each fair, which can feature some of the biggest names in American music.、Mm-hmm. So indeed, they have lots of bands performing at these fairs. Like I guess uh, in the uh, Iowa State Fair uh, this summer, uh, there's going to be Slipknot. I I think you may have heard of them. They're a heavy metal band. The Zac Brown Band is playing. We've got a, a Mexican comedian, I guess. Gabriel Fluffy Iglesias is going to be there. Foreigner is going to be there. Oh, as I well. love Foreigner. And、uh, some other bands. <laughs> Hootie and the Blowfish are going to be there as well. I know them too. So, indeed,、mm-hmm. lots of bands give concerts, and they run throughout the fair. So you got to buy your tickets and figure out,、uh, you know, when they play,、uh-huh. and you go to the grandstand for that.、Uh, that's where the concerts are. Here we've got the word "which," which、uh, generally refers First, back to something mentioned earlier in the sentence. So, don't miss the concerts, which can feature some of the biggest names in American music. Probably some country bands as well. So, yes, those concerts. And those concerts feature really famous bands, especially in American music. Although I think a famous Canadian band、uh, played at the、uh, Iowa State Fair that I went to a couple of years ago. Although I can't remember their name offhand. Yeah, two years ago, it doesn't necessarily have to be an American band.、Uh, somebody that or some band that people are familiar with, they want to get the crowd excited.、Um, and if you hear your favorite band or a band that you're familiar with is coming to play live music, it gets more people out to the fair to buy tickets.、Uh, it's just one feature, though.、Uh, there's so much to do; it's hard to choose. Usually, at least from what I've heard. Or seen because I've only been to one fair. The big concerts are in the evening,、uh, and that's when people really show up. But oh, there's so much to do. It's so fun to go. It's a lot cheaper to go to a state fair than it would be to go, say, to a Disneyland or a Knott's Berry Farm or a Six Flags Over Texas. Those are more expensive tickets. But yeah, if you can get yourself to the United States, or maybe you're already going to be going there, maybe you're going to be a college student or a high school student. Maybe you're doing a foreign exchange. If you hear about a state fair. We both encourage you to go because they are just filled with American culture. You could say there are lots of fun things for you. 
Absolutely. So yes, whether you spend your time on the midway or at the competitions, one thing's for sure: you'll never be bored at an American State Fair. So that、True. sentence here sort of wraps things up. We have、uh, this pattern that is often used、uh-huh. when we finish an essay: whether you do this or whether you go there or whether you do that. But、uh, in any case, yes,、uh, you might spend your time at the midway or on the midway,、mm-hmm. or you might spend your time at the competitions. But it doesn't matter because you're going to have a great time. You'll never be bored at an American State Fair. So indeed,、uh, we did talk about the Midway earlier. There are lots of things to see and do there. Probably some rides and some carnival games that you can play, like throwing rings over things.、Uh, you have all those games here in Taiwan as well, and you could、uh, check out the competitions. I think here they're referring to the animal competitions、uh, that involve various farm animals. It might sound boring at the beginning. But they're actually quite exciting to check out. Well, there are also arts and crafts that are sometimes competing against each other. You know, who made the most beautiful quilt? For example, I wanted to mention on Midway, guys, we're using it in a very particular and special way in this particular article because the Midway is a noun here, and it's the middle part of a fair. But you can also use it to say you're partway done, or partway through, or half done with something. For example, if you're reading a novel, you could say I'm midway. You know how much have you read of your book? Oh, I'm I'm midway. I'm about midway. You're about halfway through. So we use it as an adjective and an And as an adverb as well. So, but here it's a very special word. If you've gone to a state fair or if you're planning to go, you'll know what we're talking about once you get there because there's this kind of huge aisle down the middle, and on either side of that aisle way, you could say, or the midway, you have choices of things to go and、uh, to do. There might be some of those. Fun arcade games that Tom was talking about, like ski ball.、Uh, there might be. I went to when I was at the fair. They also had that game, Tom, where you would take a rifle. It's not a real gun, but you would shoot at targets. Sure. And if you hit、Moving、the target,、targets. you could win a stuffed animal as a prize. That was fun too. I'm sure they'll have all of that stuff. And of course, if you do travel to the United States during the summer, or in the case of Arizona in October, yeah,、uh, you know. Check out the local listings.、Uh, go online and see if there's a state fair going on. It might actually make your trip a memorable experience. Yeah. So indeed, check that out. And that brings us to the end of our lesson for today. Hey, let's say goodbye now. So for all of us here at English Digest, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie. Goodbye. Bye.